Hello, hopefully all of you are doing good. Sorry, my, my daily schedules are running very, very crazy. So I, I am not able to make videos very frequently. Hopefully in, in, in near future, it, it will be is out and I'll be able to make uh, more contents. But anyway, like uh, in, in this video also will be a very short one and very useful one as well. So hopefully you will like it and uh, one more thing is like i have received so many comments and emails for different videos as well as on different topics um, uh, just bear with me i will try to reply them one by one so i'm just one man army so i'm just not able to cope up with this huge volume so it that's why there is some delay on it now now let, let's get started so this video we will talk about how to add comments in your searches now why this topic is very important because um, many a time when you are you are working with a very long searches or very complex searches we get a feel like if we get just like we do in our normal codes right let's say you are writing a python code or a java code over there you can write your own comments over there right what that particular piece of code is doing or what are the approach you have taken when you have written some blocks of code over there right now similar stuff you can do with your splunk searches as well because if you are working on a very big project you know like splunk searches can be very very big one right so adding a comment writing a comment for a particular piece of searches what whatever the logic you have developed it over there if you can put it in a comment it will be easier for the people who are letter seeing your code or letter seeing your searches right so this could be one aspect of the comment or there could be different aspects like uh, let's say you are reviewing code for some search code for some some of the other other developer in your team right so you can put comments over there so that they can they can correct it over there so that that means like whenever you will be reviewing the code you can add your comments and send it to them so that they can they can correct it or they can take uh, like whatever the correction is needed or what the improvements are needed they can do it over there as well right as well as the most important part which i feel for the comments are like let's say you have a very big search and you want to execute some portion of it so many a times previously what you used to do in previous versions of splunk like mm, we have to basically cut the portion we want to execute and then then we were executing it separately right so now that you can do it with your comments as well so there are a lot of lot of advantages of comments let's say we have a simple search i have written a very simple search but splunk searches could be very very complex so what it is basically doing like from the tmdb index it's basically renaming some genre ids then it is doing some MB expand and it is tabling it right now how you add comments so let's say why i rename this genre ids you can add a comment something like this one with triple tick it will start with triple tick it will end with triple tick as well so whatever you will be writing in between this splunk will consider it as a comment over there and it will not execute that portion of the code right so probably like something like renaming the gener id gener id field it's uh, if you remember like it's a it's a array right so if i just go to events currently i'm running in verbose mode so right so if you see like this gener id it's an it's an array over here right so that is what to to remove this one to if i if i just if I just only run this portion see now I want to see what actually before renaming this this field was looking like right so what I'll do I want just run this portion of this code over here so what I can do is I can comment it out with three ticks and three ticks over here right so now only this portion of the code will be running for me you can you can remove this comment for now okay and let's let's run this one so if you see it like the actual field name was general id then some brackets curly brackets over here right so because every time if i want to use this field i have to put it in a double quotes so i want to avoid that so that is the reason i wanted to 
rename this particular field as general underscore id right so let's come remove the comments over here we can we are already seeing like one advantage of comments over here right so let's bring back our comments so renaming this this field to make it simple right to make it easy to use let's say easy to use over here right so if i run this portion now so that means it will ignore this portions over here which are basically part of comment and then it executes the rest of the search string over here and good thing is like not only in your ad hoc searches you can place your comments in a safe search as well which has which are very very useful over there right and even like you can use your ad hoc use comments in your ad hoc searches whenever let's say you are working on a search which is very complex one right so you can save your progress or you can keep a note for yourself in the search itself right so that you know whenever you are resuming your work right or whenever you are revisiting that particular portion of the search over there right so there are a lot of usefulness of the comments over here now so now let's say like i want to see why i have used mv expand or basically whatever the data was there before mv expand so what i will do is i will keep this code portion in a comment right and let's say over here i will use i will use table table let's say journal id whatever renamed journal id i i have done that now if i do that i can see like for each and every row or each and every event the journal ids are basically a mv field over here so that that is the reason i have used mv expand over here so it is very much easier to debug a particular search string as well over there right a particular search as well over there right and and it will be very much easier to debug a particular issue over there as well right so so these are the usefulness of comments now if we want to discuss the limitations of a comment the first limitation is so let's say you are using some kind of generating command like like t stats or make results so let's let's open a window over here so let's say i have make let, let's uh, use the make results this will be applicable for t stats and other generating commands as well right so i have this one this commands over here i cannot put a comment before that if i try to put if i try to put over here some some comments some comments right the search will not run at all it will say like the the this this command has to be the first command of your search okay so this is the one thing you have to remember and another thing is like inside the comment you can you can use other tick mark single tick and double tick as well so let's say like inside your comment you want to paste a macro name right so splunk macro names always start with a single tick over there right so let's say like um, I, I i can show you over here right so let's say here i want to put a macro so i inside a single tick i can write like some macro some macro name over here so this will this will still work because like the inside the inside the comment it it always ignores the single quotes single tick as well as double tick as well so you can use double tick as well over here okay so and and if you see like as as i as, as we discussed like you cannot use comment before the generating comment even i have seen this one as well so let's let's copy this comment over here and let's say here i want to use this comment something like this one over here right so let's say this is before the search command even this does not work properly as well right so if i remove that this this this, this should work easily okay so i so these are the limitations and usefulness of comments and another limitation is you cannot use your use your comment inside a double quote so that is also you need to 
you need to keep in mind over here okay so this will this will basically make make the search fail over here currently it is failing in like in our rename command over here because we have used this double quotes we basically we have used this command inside the double quote over here okay so hopefully we got a fair idea about how to use comments in splunk searches what are its usefulness as well so hopefully you like i think i i hope most of you are already using comments in your searches it's a good practice as well over here okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video